Greetings everyone, in this tutorial video I am going to show you how to install and use Focus, one of the very best web UI for stable diffusion based models. You see it has over 14k stars. What is the advantage of this web UI? It is literally one click, it is automatically downloading models for you. It has over 200 embedded styles that you can pick and it is automatically expanding your prompt so that you don't need to do prompt engineering. You see in these examples, I just typed a cat, nothing else, selected the style that I want from here and just hit generate. And it has generated me amazing quality images with the models that it has automatically downloaded. Believe me, you will like this web UI, so let's delve into it. So the installation of Focus is so straightforward and easy, you don't even need to have Python installed. I will show you how to install and also upgrade it to the latest version. For upgrade, you need Git to be installed. When you type Git, you will see Git from here. Just download and install it. So for installing Focus, we are going to use this release. Click here to download the release. It will get downloaded like this. You see it's a 1.8 GB 7 zip file. It has been completed. So let's cut it and move it into the folder where you want to install. So I will make a new folder here. Focus video. Okay. You can give any name. Let's paste it here. I will use WinRAR to extract. But on Windows you can already extract 7 zip files. If you can't just download and install WinRAR. So I right click it and click it extract. This is all I need to do. After that I will be able to start using it immediately. Just wait the extraction to be completed. So it comes with pre-prepared Python environment for you. So you don't even need to install Python itself. And it will come with these three dot bot files which will start the focus. Let's say you want to use the latest version of focus because it is under current development as you are seeing right now. The last commit was 51 minutes ago. So to use it enter inside focus folder open a new CMD like this and just type git pull. For this command to work you need to have git installed as I said. After that you can start three options so you may be wondering what are these the focus has a very well written readme file i suggest you to read this readme file very truly you will find so much information here it is working even on very low vram having computers it also supports linux with anaconda or with python virtual environment moreover it supports amd gpus as well as you are seeing right now it even supports mac so read all of the description here so let's begin with run.bat file which is the default it will also download the models automatically for us you see it started downloading juggernaut xl version 6 and the default python version of focus is python 3.10.9 so the focus has a lot of advantages if you are moving from mid journey read this section you will find how it is easy to use it is totally free it is open source so i suggest you to also read this section as well the download is almost completed okay download completed and the model started you will get this screen you don't need to do anything you can just type amazing car and nothing else and hit generate it will start generating automatically for you as you are seeing right now so this is the speed this is the screen where we will see the process you see it has added a lot of prompts to my prompt everything is automatically done by focus for me the interface is very nicely designed it is easy to understand and use okay it generated two images by default not four and you see these are the images we got and they are looking amazing really amazing let's open it in here it is really really good one and we just type it amazing car nothing else so where are these images are saved they are saved inside outputs folder you will find your saved images here focus outputs and the image generated day so what are the other options we have when you click this advanced tab here it will open these advanced settings so here we can select 
other aspect ratios select number of images and select negative prompt if we want there is also random here this is for determining the seed so let's keep it random and let's try another resolution for example let's try this resolution okay there is also speed and quality when you click quality it will do more inference steps let's see it so you see it is doing this time 60 inference steps instead of 30 the speed is let's see the speed the speed is like 3.30 it per second i have rtx 3090 ti gpu and i am recording a video right now so that is why it is a little bit slower but if you have watched my tensor rt tutorial you will see that you can get over 6 it about 7 it per second with sdxl when you are generating 10 to 24 10 to 24 images it is currently supported on automatic 11 11 web ui but using this is super easier okay we got the images as you are seeing right now and they are amazing you see this is an amazing quality image with the aspect ratio we wanted and are these all no the focus makes it much easier to apply any style flow automatically so currently three default styles are selected focus version 2 focus enhance focus sharp so let's uncheck all of them and let's try other ones for example which style we would like to see let's say game minecraft and generate again okay the generation has started it was pretty fast so we should get amazing car in the style of game minecraft it supports so many styles there are so many i will show some of them and this is the image we are getting in the style of game minecraft wow it is looking really cool let's open it amazing you can also click this icon to download the images and we are getting another one you can also click skip to skip that image or stop to stop the generation okay images are generating amazing let's try another one for example which style we should try for an amazing car okay let's see doodle art i wonder what it will generate so let's hit generate so currently we are generating doodle art style i wonder what kind of image we will get okay it is generating right now when you select the style it doesn't show the final prompt here unfortunately it is interesting actually it was showing in these styles but not in this one okay this is doodle art amazing amazing quality and it is looking amazing so read all of the styles here try them and see if you like them the focus is extremely easy to use and model top what is model top for in here you can select the base model refiner model if you want to use or loras as you are seeing right now so in here you can select base model refiner model if you wish or loras where are these models are downloaded or put when you enter focus enter inside models you will see there are checkpoints as you are seeing here so you can put the full models here let's put the base model here so i have the base model inside here and i will put the stxl base version one here where you can download this to download it type stxl base 1.0 hugging face you can download it from anywhere i prefer to download from hugging face and in here click files and versions in here you will see base version after you put the model here either restart the entire application or just click refresh all files and now we should see it yes i see it i will also invalidate the lora and let's generate the same art so now it will change the downloaded model and it will regenerate the files let's see the output in some cases the base model may work better so i suggest you to compare them and decide which model is working better for you okay we got the first image let's download and open it and in here we got the image so this is the generation with the base model with doodle art probably base model will work much better for different styles here than the fine-tuned models because base model is super strong when it comes to different arts different styles okay from here let's try flat 2d art yeah i wonder what kind of image we will get with this one okay we are getting the image slowly by the way i have selected the quality therefore it is taking longer generates in 60 steps you can also use your custom trained models 
in this application all of the formats are supported you can also append many loras as you are seeing right now so this is the first image and it is looking amazing really good fun and here the second image wow this one is also looking great so what other options there are in the advanced tab you can change sampling sharpness it says higher value means image and texture are sharper and the guidance scale this is the cfg value you can also enable developer debug mode in here you see there are other parameters that you can play with if you are an expert you can change all of this but if you are not an expert just do not spend time with it when you click this document it will show you more information regarding that top those options so i suggest you to read them as well so the focus also supports input image when you click here this section will be enabled click document to learn more about variation upscale and other stuff so in here they are clearly explained for example let's generate an amazing dragon and try to upscale it so first of all i will disable input image and i will type majestic dragon okay let's generate two images with tantamount for base resolution and let's generate oh by the way our style is still selected therefore now it is getting generated in flat 2d art i think this section is missing a button that should be uncheck all like somewhere around here and this is the generated image i will make these images in pokemon actually let's look for pokemon yes game pokemon and let's try with game pokemon so let's skip this one and generate this time we will get majestic dragon in pokemon style i wonder what kind of image we are going to get okay we got the first image it is looking pretty decent and the second image is also coming the second image i think looks more like a pokemon and we got the image nice let's enable input image and from documentation let's look some of the features so it says we can drag and drop so let's do that i will drag this one actually it is hard to drag and drop so let's zoom out okay i will drag and drop here okay we got the image let's say very subtle so with this way it will generate upscaled version but it will be a little bit different than the original okay we got the images so let's compare this was the base image 1024 1024 1024 pixels and here we got the upscaled image oh it's still same okay this didn't upscale oh i see the very will not upscale but generate a subtle different image based on the input image you see sorry about that i was mistaken so this didn't upscale but generated a subtle different image okay let's try very strong so this will generate a really different image okay we got the images so let's compare this was the base image as you are seeing right now and here we got the very strong so it generated another image based on this image and it is a similar but not exactly and in here we got another one all right so let's try upscale there are upscale 1.5x upscale 2x and upscale fast let's upscale 2x for upscale to work you don't need any prompt and you can use your real images as well and everything you use will be shown in the cmd always look for this command line interface which is running this application right now okay we got the upscale result this was the original image and this is the upscaled image by 2x let's look at the other things so it says there is image prompt and there is advanced options of image prompt so let's hide the advanced options and let's look at the image prompt from this document so it says that image prompts mid journey image prompts it is equal to mid journey image prompts let's look at this example so there is a cat and this image and this is the image prompt so let's try an image prompt i will use this image as a first image let's make the second image and let's try without any prompt let's see generate and see what we are going to get according to the documentation we should be able to use these two images as a prompt and we should get outputs like this they are looking really really amazing by the way when the first time you try to generate it will download the necessary control net models it is downloading ip adapter plus sdxl 
clip vision with h safe sensors downloading another model so when you first time use them they will get downloaded okay the generation started i wonder what we will get i think it is going to make somewhat mixed of both images yeah it looks like it is going to look great okay we got the first so let's download this really really decent so it's made out something like the mixture of both images and we are getting the another image wow this is even looking better so this feature is amazing we are able to mix multiple images and we don't even have a prompt here yeah this is even better okay let's try like this a man and this time we are also going to give more information a man wearing armor okay and let's see what we will get this time okay this time i think it will be even more accurate okay we got the first image so it tried to merge this one and this one but the style is lost you see but it is looking pretty good except the face i think it can be even fixed it. so when we click advance it it shows that where should the algorithm stop and the weight of this image prompt there are also other options for example it says we can make this as a canny and let's try it as a canny and see what we will get by the way since i made it as a canny now it is going to download another one controller laura canny rank 128 the focus developer is the control net developer the same guy so this guy is amazing amazingly talented you know the control net models that we are using for sd 1.5 based models which are the amazing ones okay this time it used this image as a canny so the shape is kept and used this image more likely to change the style of the image like you are seeing right now there is also in paint or out paint and this is another amazing feature i will show that in a moment actually let's skip this one so in paint or out paint with this one you can expand the existing images for example let's expand this image and let's describe this a picture of a man behind city scene so let's expand it for right okay let's generate it will also download the in painter model as you are seeing right now when you first time use this if they are requiring different model they will get downloaded when we click the document you can see how they can be used this is the equivalent of the mid journey so this application is trying to mimic the mid journey as much as possible you can also in paint objects i will also make an example for that so the first image is getting generated it is expanding the image into the right let's see what we will get but this is a hard scene so it may not be great because the style is not matching yeah it didn't do very well probably it would do better on a real image so let's try a real image real like image okay i think this should work better a man standing in a forest okay let's see what we will get this time i think this should work better okay image is getting generated okay first image generated let's download and open it yeah this is much better than the previous one still not the very best but much better probably we really need to define them better let's try without any prompt i wonder what we will get okay without any prompt i think it is still trying to match this style so you should uncheck all of this so let's skip the existing image try again now no style is selected i will also select these three styles here and see what difference it will make okay currently it is trying to generate without anything yeah when you don't type any prompt i think it is not working good so let's make this tree and let's make a man standing in a forest and these three styles are selected and let's see the output all right now we got much better output after we selected these three you see it is looking much much better than the previous one it is almost matching with the concept so make sure that you have selected the accurate style from here and type it at least somewhat resembling prompt here i think much better also you can in paint so let's try to in paint 
Okay, let's make the face someone else. Okay, let's say. Okay, let's say photo of a famous actor and generate. So let's see what we will get. Okay, we got the first image. Let's download. This is the result we got. I can't say it is very best. I would expect it to perform better actually. And the second one is also coming up. You can use any model with this application st1.5 realistic vision rave animated whatever you wish it supports all okay this is another one not very good either so what i'm going to do is now i am going to try realistic and let's see the difference with realistic model you see it depends on the which base model it is using the realistic will use realistic stock photo version 10 save tensor file this is also stxl model all right realistic model started let's try amazing car and let's change the aspect ratio from here i will make it like this okay so you see it added some default negative prompt in this model and let's see what we are going to get okay the first image here let's download it yeah it is looking pretty realistic and currently these styles are selected focus version 2 focus photograph focus negative okay and this is the another image wow this is really really good and it is using this base model this lora and these are the weights and these are the sampling sharpness and guidance scale okay i wonder how big images it can generate so let's try this resolution and let's look at the it per second okay the it doesn't change much because when you multiply these numbers they are almost each time making it equal to one megapixels which is the default resolution of the sdxl stable diffusion xl model okay here another image i think i will change the prompt a little bit amazing expensive sports car okay let's look at the result so we should get more like recent cars not the older cars okay this is the first image we are going to get all right let's look at it stone load and open this is the image and another one is upcoming so what changed is with the different selected model default styles the default selected styles and the model nothing else let's also start the anime model by the way all of these are written and explained in the readme of the focus github repository so you should read everything here believe me there are so many important information here for example the default models are explained here as you are seeing right now the anime run will use this bundle and there are also list of hidden tricks here you can also read them they are really important there are also customization option which are explained everything is pretty well explained this readme file is amazing so now it is going to download the blue pencil xl model and it is also going to apply a refiner you see as a refiner it is downloading dream shaper version 8 so you can also use st 1.5 based models as a refiner that is amazing this is a feature of this focus web ui to use stable diffusion so the interface has started let's type our prompt a male hero i am not going to do any advanced or anything and let's see what we are going to get okay it is generating this is going to be an anime model okay the first 20 steps and then 10 steps and then it is going to generate yeah it generated refined too wow the quality is looking amazing really really amazing the anime model is the best among others so far and this is the another image let's try another thing a male warrior robot okay and let's change the aspect ratio for example let's make it like this okay you see now it has negative prompt with embedding so it is using this embedding on aesthetic and these other prompts okay we are getting the image all right so first generate and do refining okay the aspect ratio matters a lot i think the quality is broken compared to the previous and these are the selected styles focus 
version 2 focus masterpiece and then selected model here select the refiner here refiner switch which means that based on the number of steps after this percentage of steps it will do refining and this is the appended lora and these are the advanced tab you see this time it is using guidance scale more let's make the aspect ratio to default 1024 let's look at the it okay now i can see the prompt expansion here wow i think this will be really really good okay let's look at the quality wow the quality is really good it is really good and here another one we are getting okay amazing i think what this web ui is lacking right now able to query multiple prompts trying each one of the styles here i think the developer should add trying all of the styles here one by one so you can generate with every style and see which one of them are performing better maybe combination of styles generate hundreds thousands of images and find the very best styles i think that would be even better but for now this is what we got i hope you have enjoyed this video i have so many tutorials as you are seeing here so i suggest you to check them all to learn more about stable diffusion generative ai when you click here on our channel in the about tab you will see we have links here i suggest you to open link tree and in here you will see all of our links for example on our github repository you will see lots of lots of useful stuff let's open our github repository from here first of all please start it fork it watch it and when you scroll down you will see all of our tutorials there are so far over 55 tutorials so you can look each one of them and decide which one of them are useful you can also go to video stop and watch our tutorials from here to use search bar ask me any questions from the comment section Hopefully see you in another amazing tutorial video.